Ensure that all hand and wrist jewellery is removed and that sleeves are rolled up. Apply 3 to 5 mils, that's usually one pump of alcohol rub. Rub the hands palm to palm, a minimum of three strokes. Rub the right palm over the back of the left hand, a minimum of three strokes. Rub the left palm over the back of the right hand, a minimum of three strokes. Interlace the fingers and rub the palms together, a minimum of three strokes. Clasp the fingers to rub the back of the fingers, a minimum of three strokes. Rotationally rub the left thumb with the right palm, a minimum of three strokes. Rotationally rub the right thumb with the left palm, a minimum of three strokes. With the left fingertips, rub the palm of the right hand, a minimum of three strokes. With the right fingertips, rub the palm of the left hand, a minimum of three strokes. Air dry the hands to ensure they are dry before selecting the equipment. You have now demonstrated an effective hand hygiene technique using the World Health Organization method. Select a pair of gloves. Select the clippers. Select the clipper blades, a size 40. Plug in the clippers. Switch on the clippers. Apply the clipper blades correctly by ensuring the clippers are running before clicking the blades down into position. This will also demonstrate that the clippers are functioning correctly. Leave the clippers plugged in, ready for use. Select a swab for post venipuncture pressure. Select an appropriate needle, in this case a 21 gauge by 5 eighths of an inch. Select an appropriate syringe, in this case a 2 mil. Assemble the syringe and needle aseptically. Pre-loosen the plunger of the syringe. Select an appropriate blood sample tube. In this case, an EDTA tube would be appropriate. Label the blood sample tube appropriately with the patient's name and the date. Ensure that hand and wrist jewellery is removed. Grasp the folded gown from the table. Lift the gown up and away from the table. Holding the neck of the gown, allow it to fall open away from the body. Guide your arms through the sleeves of the gown. Ensure that your hands remain inside the sleeves of the gown. Would you please tie me into the gown? Ensure you only touch the inside of the gown. Instruct an assistant to touch only the inside of the gown and ask the assistant to fasten the back and the neck ties. Bend forward to pick up the waist ties and pass these ties to the assistant. Ask the assistant to fasten the waist ties at the back of the gown. Ask the assistant to open the glove packet. Take the inner glove packet and place the inner glove packet onto a sterile surface. Ensure the fingers are facing towards you. Unfold the packet to expose the gloves. Using either hand first, Pick up the appropriate glove by the rim of the cuff. Turn the hand over so that the glove lies on the palm. Grasp the uppermost rim of the glove with the other covered hand. In one movement pull the glove over the first hand. 
Ensure the rim of the glove entraps the cuff of the gown. Pick up the remaining glove by the rim with the ungloved hand. Turn the hand over so that the glove lies on the palm. Pick up the uppermost rim of the glove with the other gloved hand. In one movement, pull the glove over the second hand. Ensure the rim of the glove entraps the cuff of the gown. Adjust the fingers and cuffs as necessary to ensure a snug fit. Clasp the hands together. You have now gowned and gloved aseptically using the closed gloving method. Ensure that all hand and wrist jewellery is removed. Grasp the folded gown from the table. Lift the gown up and away from the table. Holding the neck of the gown, allow the gown to fall open and away from the body. Guide your arms into the sleeves of the gown, keeping your hands inside the gown. Instruct your assistant to touch only the inside of the gown. Please could you tie the gown, touching only the inside. Ask your assistant to fasten the back and neck ties. Bend to pick up the waist ties. Pass the ties to the assistant. Ask your assistant to fasten the waist ties at the back. Push both your hands through the cuffs of the gown. Ask your assistant to open a glove packet. Take the inner glove packet. Place the inner glove packet onto a sterile surface. Unfold the packet to expose the gloves. Pick up the first glove. Touch only the inner folded down surface. Pull the correct glove halfway onto your first hand. Leave the cuff folded back. Hook your thumb under the fold of the cuff. Slide your gloved fingers under the cuff of the other glove, the outer surface. Slide your fingers of the ungloved hand into the fingers of the second glove. Pull the folded cuff of the glove over the cuff of your gown. Place your fingers of the entirely gloved hand under the cuff of the first semi-gloved hand. Unhook your thumb. Pull the folded cuff of the glove over the cuff of the gown. Clasp your hands together. You have now gowned and gloved aseptically using the open gloved method. Cover the sharp end of the instrument securely. Select an appropriate sized autoclave packing material. Insert the instrument into the packaging. Ensure that the instrument is inserted the correct way round. This would be where the handles are presented first when the packaging is opened. Remove the excess air from the bag. Secure the package by closing it correctly. Double wrap this package in a larger appropriate sized autoclave packaging material and again ensure the excess air is removed from this bag. Secure this package by closing it correctly. Select a permanent marker pen and label the package with the specific instrument name, not just the generic name. Additionally, label the package with your initials and the date of autoclaving or the date for re-autoclaving the package. Ensure that you write on an appropriate portion of the packaging without piercing the bag. Your instrument is now packed appropriately and ready for sterilisation.
Fold the drape using a recognised method. Select a TST indicator strip. Insert the TST indicator strip inside the folded drape. Select an appropriate sized autoclave packaging material for the drape. Insert the drape into the autoclave packaging and ensure that all the excess air is removed from the bag. Secure the package by closing it correctly. Double wrap the package in an appropriate sized autoclave packaging material. And again remove the excess air from this bag. Secure the package correctly as before. Select a permanent marker pen and label the package with the name of the contents. In this example, one small plain drape. Additionally, label the package with your initials and the date of autoclaving or the date for re-autoclaving the package. Ensure that you write on an appropriate portion of the packaging without piercing the bag. Your drape is now packed appropriately, ready for sterilisation with the inclusion of the TST strip.